Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke, otherwise known as Cool Hand Wiz, and today I am playing an extremely random but so fun game called Tempo the Badass Elephant. Obviously, that's not the best start uh, because we already died. Uh, but I actually heard about this game a little, I guess, probably when it came out. It, early, it came out earlier this year and is pretty much uh, kind of like a take on old kind of games that I have, I can't really think of one on the top of my head, but kind of all these games with kind of a modern twist to them. I thought it was a very kind of random, but very cool take um, because you wouldn't really think of an elephant as like something that would try um, and be in like this kind of war-like environment. But basically you were sent in by this government to rescue these these people that are trying to kind of take over the world of sorts, I guess. And they're the guys in purple. And you have all these like special moves and everything, which just are really super cool. And pretty much the whole point of the game is just destroying as much as you can and rescuing these people along the way, as long as maybe getting like a peanut here or there. Uh, you have like a score that you get as you get farther in the game. And each level you kind of have like a certain maximum that you can collect and so there is kind of like a completionist kind of goal if you wish to do it that play the game like that I personally um, was just pretty much having a lot of fun just running into stuff and it's really ridiculous about like how fast he moves because you wouldn't really think an elephant would be able to move that fast of course it can't but uh, I'm trying to also as you can see that counter on the top is uh, the kind of score for how many of the enemies you defeat. And you can gain like health and everything like that. I'm not exactly sure if there's turn any like upgrades you can get. I'm guessing the game actually probably gets a little bit harder, of course, as you get farther in the game because I can't imagine actually getting to the farther levels because I died quite a few times. This is actually probably like the third level or so in the game and uh, it, like, I, I think I died like three or four times, but that's probably caused just maybe by the fact that I just run into stuff and I don't, I don't normally don't really watch my health that closely, so that probably doesn't help. But yeah, so it's pretty much just a game where you try and destroy as much stuff as possible. Thank goodness, oh my gosh, that there are like health uh, or checkpoints of sorts because I do not know how I would have gotten as far as I did through some of these levels. If not, it probably would have taken me so much longer. Uh, but that like, I guess is also, like I said, partially my fault for that. Uh, but yeah, and then as you can see, oh crap, we died. <laughs> You actually, well this is I guess a good point, you can get actually health through, use, or you can revive yourself using peanut butter jars that you can, I don't know exactly if you can collect them per se, maybe you get one per level you beat or something, but they, you only get like a default of like I think five per level and then, or not per level, but overall, and then if you die, then and lose don't have any remaining then what happens is that you have to resort to your last previous save so that's like one of the downsides um but it's pretty easy to just just run and be like a juggernaut and destroy anything that comes at you there are actually kind of i guess you could call them mini bosses of sorts which you guys will see actually in a second uh i don't know if those are like a continuous thing and that happens frequently or not because um, I haven't gotten crazy far in the game yet. But the whole point um, is you get all these like other additional stuff like the counter for defeating enemies as well as rescuing um, the kind of people that the enemy, I guess, captured. I'm not exactly sure what the story is with that, uh, but uh, those are the guys that are actually on my back right now, or the temple's back. And right now we have three. I think normally there's around 10 per level or something like that and some of them are actually really hard to get uh, I don't think I've actually finished a level where I've gotten all of them just because you really have to look for them and a lot of it is related to just trying to explore the map and I don't know if there's any time-based requirement to beating certain levels. So far, I haven't seen that. But this is actually one of the bosses, or I guess, I, I don't know what to call it, uh, because he doesn't have a health bar. 
Uh, and I kind of wish he did because it would have been easier to figure out how much health he has. <laughs> Even still, I figured out that the way you have to defeat him is actually by attacking, I guess you could call it his booty of, of the machine. Uh, because I kept him running into the actual front end and didn't seem to be doing anything. But anyways, I, I really like this game. It's actually on, available on Steam if you want to check it out. I strongly recommend it. It's actually only a few dollars, I think. If you guys enjoyed this though, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Welcome to the channel. And apart from that, I will see you guys next time. Adios.